All right, so like I said in my last video, I was uh, been backing up uh, some of my computers recently. And the little computer that my son uses, um, I usually like to use the uh, legacy boot interface on some of my boot drives because I'm just more comfortable with the menu that I use on Easy to Boot because I just use it all the time. But for some reason, I had a uh, on the little computer that, I, that my son usually uses, the one that I'm setting up with all the games and stuff, the one that I showed in one of my other videos, the little Lenovo. The uh, it has legacy support and CSM support, but for some reason it just had trouble booting legacy. So I, I was like, you know, let me try my EFI uh, only drive that I made on it. Even though I could, I could get it to work on the other one if I boot it up at EFI, but I was like, let me try my other EFI only boot drive that I made. And for some reason that PNY, PNY drive just died on itself, died all by itself. I don't know why it just stopped working. So I made this um, uh, this weekend uh, real quick with the latest uh, Ventoy install. And I just want to show you how easy they've made it these days. It's, it's so much easier than it used to be. So I'll, uh, let me switch to my computer here and I'm gonna plug this USB stick into my computer. All right. So there it is, it popped up right there. Um, let me show you. You're gonna to wanna to go to Ventoy's website, just Google Ventoy, and eventually they're gonna take you here to their GitHub page. And you could just uh, scroll down here. And I would just download the latest uh, Ventoy uh, what is it, 10.5.1 version, Windows Zip. I look at that. And let me, uh, let me bring something up here on my computer uh, where I put those files. <clears throat> so this is where I uh, keep my Ventoy, some of my Ventoy files. And uh, this is that zip file extracted. That's what it looks like. This is just other stuff that I got in my notes and link to the website and all that stupid stuff. But after you unzip it, you should get this folder here. And uh, this executable is what you want to run to uh, install Ventoid to your USB stick. And like I said, they couldn't make it any easier. You just, I would run this as an administrator if I were you, run this as an administrator. There were some issues with the older version uh, if you didn't run it as an administrator, but I think I don't think that's the case with this one anymore. So, so I'm not gonna do it obviously because I already did it. So, you just point it at your USB your USB drive. For for <coughs> for kicks, I just added a secure boot support because Windows 11 is coming out and TPM and secure boot and all that stuff is gonna be a requirement. So, might as well get ahead of the game. So yeah, turn on the secure boot. Um, also the partitioning style, just to be up with the times I'm setting it to GPT instead of a uh, main boot record. Global partitioning tables the new way. So try and do everything the new way so you get used to that with all the new stuff. And then you just install it. And so what it does is, um, let me close this. Let me get this off the screen here. I'm using my second monitor as a pallet just to show you what I want to show you. Um, so yeah, after you install it, you'll have... Uh, this, you'll see this partition. You won't see this partition. And this partition has all the uh, EFI boot files and all that stuff. And this has the uh, this has the themes if you want to edit the themes. For me, I just want to change the background. I'm not making a JSON file and doing all crazy uh, 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 XML modifications or whatever to, to make a theme. I just want to do it nice and simple. I want to take the default background away put my own background away but you're not going to be able to get to these files in uh, on the uh, EFI partition because when you first make the uh, Ventoy USB stick you only see this uh, drive and there's it's blank there's nothing in it until you load that's where you put your ISO file so I have a bunch of ISO files in there but I was like ah oh, man where's the uh, the uh, the boot partition, I can't see it. That has the files that I want to manipulate to customize the look. So I'm just going to show you real quick. Like I said, you just run that executable, and it you have a, you all of a sudden you have an EFI bootable USB drive. It's so nice. And then on on the uh, drive that you see, 
you just throw like this one right here. That's what you're going to see. You're going to see this one drive right here. That's where you're going to put all your ISO files. Those are going to show up in the Ventoy menu when you boot up. But if you want to uh, customize the background and you want to get to see uh, the, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? The uh, EFI partition where all the boot files are, you know, you can't see this partition. So you can, you can, so it makes that partition hidden and it doesn't have a drive letter assigned to it. So you got to fix that. Now you can do that with disk part, <laughs> Windows disk met. Disk management in Windows doesn't let you do much. So you could do it in disk part, but the easiest way to do it, I'd say, if you don't remember or you don't want to look up all the disk part uh, commands and all that stuff, I would say, uh, let me see, I had this open. Um, did I close it? I might close this software. Let me open this back up. It's the... Uh, Mini tool partition wizard, the free version. So it's up to version 12.5. So yeah, you'd go down here, and like, hey, there's my USB drive. Um, I want, I would like to see what's going on. Uh, you would right click it, and then you would uh, unhide partition. So I already unhid it, so it says hide partition. I don't want to hide it. And then uh, yeah, after you do that, um, there should be a section here where you can assign it a drive letter. But it, even if even if it's not, um. Uh, let me see, did I have any drive letter settings here? Change letter. Yeah, there you go. Then you can just give it a letter. So, yeah, once you uh, once you uh, unhide it and you give it a letter, so I gave it, um, uh, well, this is saying H right here, but don't think I have it as H. I got it as, oh, I do have it as H. I'm sorry. So it's coming, at, it's coming up as a, uh, H for me, and I could probably go ahead and change those, those drive letters. I might even change those. Um, but yeah, once you have the drive letter assigned and you have the partition not hidden, you can go in here and you can go to um, right here, this folder right here, themes, and then you can change your background to whatever you want it to be. And it was just one more other thing that I was going to uh, show you. One moment. Oh, that's uh, one second. Let me read some notes that I had. Here we go. Here we go. Um, so if you go to um, let me go to my uh, EFI drive again. If you go to, oh, I'm already there. <laughs> if you go to this grub folder and grub config here, you can change the uh, some of the default. Uh, uh, what it default, what it looks like when it when it boots up. So one, the only thing that I would even change in here is the uh, the VTOY default menu mode. Uh, sorry about my cookie chair. Menu mode. Let's see if I can find it. There it is, right here. So if you have that set to zero, it's going to show you the list view, which shows all the ISO files in all the directories. And if you set that to one, it's going to show you tree view, which shows the ISO files in root only, and and the additional directories. It's not going to, it's not going to show all the ISO files. It's just going to show you what the ISO files are in the root, and all the directories that have the other ISO files. So you could set that to however you want that to be, and yeah, that's all. Another thing I just, that I just realized is uh, that I should um, uh, let me go back to here. Is when when I when I was running the uh, the uh, this software right here, you know, the installer that installs installs Ventoy. When you check in Secure Boot Support, I don't. I think if you don't have that checked in, I don't think you'll get this right here. I think this is a signed security certificate that gets you past secure boot. So if you want to have a USB stick that boots up and you're like Windows 11 ready, because, you know, secure boot 
and trusted platform module, TPM, all that stuff's going to be part of the Windows 11 ecosystem. So if you want to get ahead of the game, you know, check that in. Make sure you have uh, secure boot support because uh, apparently on Windows 11, or I mean, you're not going to be able to boot up if uh, <clears throat> the uh, what you're booting with isn't isn't uh, trusted software, you know, so. Yeah, that's all. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys uh, how easy it is to make a UEFI uh, boot disk, that, uh, boot USB boot disk that should work fine with Windows 11 and all that stuff. So, and how to, if you run into any problems uh, customizing it, remember you just unhide the partition that's hidden, uh, give it a drive letter, then you can go explore. If you can finally explore the files and change whatever you want. So. That's all. Hope it helps somebody out there. Um, everybody have a good day.